Hello everybody and welcome to Hardcore Minecraft and this right here, this is my island spawn transformation and with almost 500 days in, we've done a lot of work to this island but today we're going to be expanding more to the north and adding a very important farm that's going to make this place look even cooler. Oh hi, come with me, I got a lot to show you. Starting with my brand new Christmas outfit. Yes, <laughs> this looks so cool. I definitely look like a little bit of a Christmas elf which is perfect for the season. You know we had to get festive over here. <laughs> but let's put our clothes back on because it's a little dangerous out here. It's still hardcore after all. We're not taking any chances. And I've been doing a lot of work over here in our village. Last episode, we built this whole fishing village and it turned out so good. And I asked you guys for names for the builds that we already did. Like this fish shop. And the name is Fishy Business. And this was from Prismatic Rift. I love this place. Hi, that's one of our workers. His name is Pablo. Besides that, we also have this cool little warehouse area for people to unload all their stuff when they dock in here. And this was from Talia. And this place is called the Haunted Hall. Oh, sorry, you are, this is your business? Sorry, oh, no, you work over there? All right, cool. And then we also have this cartographer's spot, which is, uh, doesn't have any cartographers. I have way too many barrels. Everybody's a fisherman. I'll get some cartographers soon enough. You just watch, you just gotta lock them in. And this place is called All Around Charters from Diddy Margu. And we have a lot of villagers living in here now. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of breeding. They took over this place now. This is not my village anymore. Now, besides those older shops, I did ask for new ones. We had four empty ones, and you guys came through with a ton of good ideas. And number one, this is from Cryptic Rain. This right here is a bakery. <laughs> Look how cool. We got some cakes over here. We got little things to make drinks. This is one of the only ones with an actual chimney, so we have some smokers over here. Oh, hi. Yes, we are open for business. Would you like a cake? I'll give you this one. It'll be three emeralds, please, for a slice. Well, if you ain't got no money, you come back when you got money then, okay? Oh, you can work here if you like to. You can pay your way from here. You can have all the cake you want now. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. I guess it's break time. I guess we're on break already. Huh. Taking advantage of the new business model. And then besides that, back over here, we have ourselves a little tavern. That's right, a tiny pub. I'm gonna make a huge tavern later on when we go into the big city that I'm planning. But for now, there's a nice little pub, a tiny little one right here in the dockside area. We got seating on the side over here, on the bar, and a couple outside seats right here. Look at these views, you sit down, have a nice little pint, and look at the sun setting in the background. Oh, that is just too romantic. Look at that, oh, I love it. But we sleep because it's dangerous at nighttime. And this was from Verdant. Did I say that right? I probably didn't say that right. I'm not gonna even try. But thanks for that suggestion. The bartender will be with you in a moment. No, I'm not the bartender, I'll go find one. Now the next two, we're gonna need a little help to make it fully stocked in what they sell. Because this next one, it is right back here. And it doesn't look obvious because you gotta really look later on once we add the inventory. But this part right here is from Allie. And this is gonna be a candle shop. Only problem is I don't have many candles right now. And we currently only have these because we got them from the ancient cities. See, we got plenty of honeycomb to make candles, but we don't have a huge supply of string. I'm gonna have to kill spiders for that one. Or make one of those all-purpose mob farms, but we don't have that yet. Maybe later on down the line. But for right now, we can grab some dyes and we can color some of these. Brown, black, green, other green, pink, red, and we can dye the ones that were already white. That's fine. So let's drop some candles over here. Now besides candles, we can also sell other lighting items like shroom lights, glowstone, campfires count, even lanterns. Oh, and how about some end rods? And we can light these up. And don't worry, there's no fire hazard here. These are special barrels and special wood. That's right. And then last but not least, we have this beautiful place, which uh, doesn't really uh, say what it does, but the carpet gives you a little bit of a hint. This is from Sumi, which wants a honey shop. Now, honey is very underrated. It's one of the coolest things, and I only have two bottles right now, so we'll put that there. And as far as inventory, well, this is my honeycomb farm, which right now, um, I don't think I'm ever gonna need any more honeycomb than this. Honestly, there's no chance I'm ever gonna use more than this, ever. So I can grab some of these for right now because we can actually make some more candles. Let's turn this into a honey farm now. For that, it should be an easy fix. Let's just get some glass. And we got plenty of that. Let's convert these into bottles, probably more bottles. Yep, that should be more than enough. And I do believe I made myself a little access point up here. All we have to do is open these guys and all the shears have been uh, destroyed. That's fine. So let's just drop the glass inside. That should be ready to go. And 
now we wait. Hopefully that worked. Unless it's only honeycomb. Then I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe I can sneak one in here. Got it! They are so upset. I did not mean to. I thought you couldn't even see me do that. Please don't die. Don't pinch each other. I apologize. I will never do that again. I will never do that again. I am so I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad. Please don't be mad. If I break this open, I could get attacked by a bunch of bees. How did you even know I did that, by the way? I did it from the side. You couldn't have seen me. Okay, goodbye. And while we wait for our honey empire to accumulate more honey, let me show you what I did here with the pirate ship. The Moon Dancer 2.0. I also asked you guys to give me some of your in-character lore and names for pirates that are going to be added to our crew here. I'm going to spam everybody on the screen's lore. We have Toto, Emerson, Isabella, and down below we have Silent Wolf and Enzo Timber. One of the greatest pirates ever. What a great crew here on the Moon Dancer 2.0. I think I had one more, but um, I think they were eaten by a Kraken or something. Hopefully that wasn't yours. But thank you so much for everybody who wanted to become part of the crew. But don't worry, I'm going to be adding even more people down the line for other guilds and such. Get ready for those. What a magnificent vessel. And another thing you might have noticed is uh, my rockets. I currently only have 30 left. And that's not good enough. I want to fly everywhere in this world, and I can't do it if I only have 30 rockets left. And I don't want to go down below and kill more creepers. We need to build a farm for this. And I got the greatest idea for one. Follow me. Now, we pretty much used up most of this space over here. We don't have much more room for bigger builds. But if we come down to this side of the island, we pretty much have all this space to work with. But I want to save most of this area for like a bigger city with taller buildings leading up to the castle, which eventually will be right up here where all the cherry blossoms are at. So that leaves us with this space right over here, right behind the mud farm. I'm thinking this is the perfect spot to build ourselves a really cool gunpowder farm or a creeper farm. But let's clear out some space over here and see what we really have to work with. All right, now this is a good space to work with. And just like most of the builds around here, hello, you're interrupting me. I was talking to my people. Yup, what do you have? Nothing good, I see. Uh -huh. You do have leads though. But like most of the builds around here, they're gonna have a nice ruin theme to it. Oh cool, you left me leads. Nice. Oh no, we're down to 22 rockets. We need this farm immediately. And I've done a couple gunpowder farms in my day. And there's one specific one, which actually, yep, Jelly, I'm going to need you. It requires kitty cats. But don't worry, Jelly, you're not going in there. Just your children. Let's pass by the fish shop and actually get some fish. I'll take that. And those. You're about to have some children. Oh, I pre-fired that one. Sorry. Jelly, Enchantress, I need a lot of cats. Cute. Yeah, <laughs> so precious. Now, besides cats, I'm going to need a couple building blocks. And the way we're going to do this, I'm going to build the actual contraption first, like I always do. Then we're going to build the pretty stuff around it. This farm is also going to require a ridiculous amount of trap doors. And I have a couple right here, but we're going to need a lot more than this. All right, that's looking pretty good. But I think we're going to need a lot more. Uh, so let's grab a little bit of bone meal and gather some spruce. Oh, yep, that should be good after this. Alright, now I think that's enough. The basic block palette for this thing, I'm just gonna go with a lot of cobble, a lot of mossy, of course stones, and regular stone. And of course, ow, almost made it, tons and tons of moss. You guys ready again? There you go! One more kitty please! Yeah! Alright, let's do our business here in the center of town. Now the base layer for this farm only requires two cats, but I'm gonna do four layers of this farm. So technically, we're gonna need eight kitty cats. So I'll see you when they're all grown up and ready to go. We did it! Our creeper cat army is ready to go! A uh, beautiful brand new day. You guys ready? You're so cute. Look at all these tiny little ones. Tiny jellies and tiny enchantresses. Come on army! We got stuff to do! Alright everybody, gather around, oh cute, gather around, right here, this is the spot, just relax until it's time to get to work. Now let's count, we need eight, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one of you could come with me. Come on in. You can be our mud farm kitty. Cute. We need a name for the mud farm kitty in the comment section. Go ahead. I'll pick it in the next one. Look how cute. 13 rockets left. Oh, man. All right, let's start this up. Let's do one layer, and I'll show you how it works. And then we'll just stack on top of it. So this right here is pretty much layer one. The only thing I would do differently though, I would cover all these trapdoors here with some slabs. Pretty much just to prevent anything from spawning up here. Open all these trap doors in here. The cats are in place in both sides and I put a block on top just in case if any creepers were to push them over. They wouldn't though because they're scared of them. So carpets being placed here is going to prevent any spiders spawning and the trap doors being here is going to prevent any other mobs from spawning like zombies or skeletons. So pretty much only creepers spawn in here. They would spawn inside this little area. They'll see this cat and then they'll run straight in here over the trap door and into those soul fire campfires down there. Now down here, we got some ladders that go down to the bottom and I have two double chests right here. The hoppers are in place. So the soul fire will then kill the creeper and everything will go down here. You can use regular campfires too, but the soul fire ones are a little bit more powerful. And this spot is pretty much protected from anything going on upstairs. But the next step we have to do is pretty much stack this thing up four times. We can go even more than that, but I think four should be quite enough for a single player world. So let's do it. Let's stack them up. have it the creeper farm in its most basic form right now just a, a box stacked up four times with the kitty cats inside ready for the creepers to spawn only problem is they won't spawn just like this we need to go up in the sky about 119 blocks so let's make a very simple platform all the way up there platform is ready to go it's a little bit of a fancy platform but i'm gonna do a lot of fancy stuff on top of it this is just the beginning so for right now let's test out this creeper farm and see if it actually works because if it doesn't i messed up and i'll just cover myself in moss just in case you never know let's do this So I was only gonna AFK for about 30 minutes, but I decided to go get something to eat. I started watching a movie and all of a sudden, it's uh, it, it's four hours now. It's been four hours. Oh, what was I watching? Oh, just a Christmas classic, Die Hard. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Let me know in the comments. But let's check how much gunpowder we have down here. Hopefully this worked. One, two, three. Oh, oh baby, okay. Let's take it all out of here. Let's put it all in here so you can see it all in one lump over 32 stacks of gunpowder yep the farm works let's go make rockets Woohoo! yeah and with only five left oh this is crazy come here paper yes we will never have to worry about rockets ever again this is gonna be my rocket chest and i guess now it's time to get to work we need to make this thing look even better than this which is not gonna be that hard because this is ugly so my idea is to build ourselves a lovely fortress, a gunpowder fortress.
the fortress is complete and it's looking really, really cool. I love the way this one turned out. We even got a little flag on the tippy top. But I did add a bunch of details as far as the path leading up around the side here from the mud farm all the way in here. And I added a little tiny little mud cart there. I had to add something. We need more carts in this world. More carts are incoming, but the path curves around and we end up right here with a bunch of overgrown everywhere path. Kind of breaking down and stopping over here, but we could keep adding to this side too. Lots of flowers, bushes, overgrown of course, moss and lichen going up the side of the walls. These are one of my favorite windows up here. That just looks really, really cool. Nice little wooden pop-out area you would see during those medieval time periods. We have another extra storage over here where we could put a bunch of extra junk. I have a little flower garden here on the side. And then this little extension, we could put even more storage. <laughs> That's right. Now in here, of course, we could put gunpowder, but maybe we can even stack some TNTs in here. Everything that's gunpowder related, we could put it in here. Maybe even fireworks. That'll be cool. But of course, you can always use more storage. We got some retainers container walls on the side here just to give it a little bit more detail and we still have all of this space to work with I can't wait for that everything up here is completely spawn proofed all of these are slabs slabs on top of the walls slabs everywhere really and up here we have little balconies as well overgrown down here and it's all lit up nicely you can even imagine a door used to be in here that goes absolutely nowhere because there's creepers on the other side I'm keeping you guys safe from in there the kitty cats though they're the guards of this place but what do you think of our gunpowder fortress? <laughs> I think it looks awesome. Rate it right now, one out of 10 sausages. And while you're there in the comment section, we need a name for the fortress. The best one is gonna win in the next episode. I even got a sign ready to go. And now for the next build, we need to put something above this platform. And you probably know exactly what it is. And I've always been a fan of these things. Hotter balloons are so fun to build. And I had a couple little ones in a previous hardcore world. These cute ones right over here. Look how nice those look. But not just that one. That one too. Those are nice and cute. And super tiny. Because the one I'm thinking about building now is going to be huge. So let's go gather some materials for it. And one of the main materials we're going to be using is wool. Ow. Almost made that. Specifically, red. Oh, baby. Besides that, we're going to be using some mangrove, the planks, of course, and some red terracotta. I guess we're going to a Badlands biome. Ooh, but I got to repair these wings first. Down in the spawner we go. Hello, if it is. There we go, fully repaired. Oh, here we go. That's a good pocket of red right here. Let's grab all this. All right, I think we destroyed this thing. We have the shulker box full of red and also these right here. Just don't look at the that mess. That It's totally a natural rocket. Uh, it's still natural. That's fine. Ah, the island. It is looking so good. And now it's going to look even better with a giant hot air balloon up there. Let me show you. Look at that beautiful hot air balloon. Man, I love it. I got some nice shading in there with all the different types of red. The basket is looking lovely, connecting to it. And we even have a little bit of a can- Oh, hi, I'm stuck inside. Oh, I wasted that rocket. But it looks cool from under here, too. We got a little campfire in there with the poofs of smoke going up to the top. And in there is completely lit up and uh, mob approved. Everything is fine in there. I could put something up in there, too. I'm not sure what. Should I put something inside the hot air balloon? If I do, what should I put in there? But what do you think of the balloon? Rate it 1 out of 10 sausages right now. I think it has to be one of my favorite all-time balloons. But now since we have a working gunpowder farm, a lovely AFK spot, we can get infinite amount of gunpowder now. And I'm going to take some with me. Because I did say once I got a bunch of gunpowder, I could put it to good use. Just need to get a little bit of sand and make some TNT. So let's grab some fire res, some flint and steel, my helmet, and we're off into the nether. Wally! Hi! Look at you! Oh, you're so cute. I've missed you too. I'll see you in a second. I'm going to blow up your home. Oh, really? You missed. You missed again. You're under the lava. You're not doing anything to me anymore. Goodbye. 
dummy. Now I got 62 TNT. Once we run out of this, we're out of here. But I need your best guesses in the comments. How many H debris do you think I'm gonna get this time after using 62 TNT? I'm guessing we get more than five that we did last time just using our pickaxe over here. Let's see what we get. Alright, last two TNTs. Let's go. Alright, I think I didn't miss anything all the way down this path, but a lot cleaner, a lot faster, saving me so much of my pickaxe durability too. Definitely not that big mess that beds leave behind. If I missed any, you scream at me in the comments, but I think we got everything? So let's see if you won. 62 TNT in about less than five minutes got me eight ancient debris three more than the last one and the other one took me about 30 minutes and broke almost two pickaxes yep this is the way to go we'll definitely come back later when we get more sand woohoo i always wanted to do this <laughs> it's a little dangerous i better stop oh i'm okay i'm fine time to go home let's just go ahead and cook up our ancient debris drop it in turn it on there it goes and that's eight netherite scrap let's grab some gold we got ourselves two ingots i also have two upgrade templates that we definitely have to make copies of. Let's make four just in case. Drop those two in there. I got less than a stack of diamonds left. Oh no. I gotta go on a diamond hunt later on. And I'm thinking the upgrade needs to go to our criminal pickaxe. Yup, worth it. Woo! And the next one would have to go to the axe. I've been using this axe so much and it deserves it. Bam. But you know what else it deserves? A name! I don't have a name for this axe! This is a very important tool in my arsenal. Especially after all the wood I collect. So name this axe right now. But I think this has been an amazing episode. We have everything we need to fly all over the place, explore non-stop, and a beautiful balloon, and gunpowder fortress. Man, this thing looks so good. And coming up, we're gonna be expanding this entire area. And we still have the castle to look forward to. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.